Hey guys, <coughs> back on. I wanted to put a little tutorial on here how to install CXMB 3.3 for your custom firmware 5.00 M33 and up firmware. So, hopefully, you've already gone and downloaded the CXMB 3.3 file from my download site or the forum where I post. As you can see I've got it right here. If you haven't got it, pause the video, go get it, download it. You want to make sure you have WinRare because it's a rare file. You want your PSP plugged into USB put into USB mode which I'm turning mine on right now so I've turned it on now up in just a second Open to view folders. All right. So we've got our CXMB files opened in the rare file. We've got it open right now. These are the two files inside the CXMB folder and an SC plugins folder. And then we have this one, the root, the memory stick, this is what's all on the root of my memory stick. So as you can see right there, the CXMB file, just drag it from here and drop it onto the root of the PSP memory stick. So it looks like this, right beside your ISO all those other files. Once you have this installed, go back to your other folder that came with the rare file, SE plugins. Open that up, you have a VSH text. If you don't have one inside your PSP, which SE plugins is right here, open that. See, I have a VSH text already. You want it let me make it a little bigger here to look like this. So you have CXMB right there at the top. You have the text right inside here. So just copy it, copy, open up VSH text on the PSP, and paste right in to the VSH text on your PSP. That's all for that. Once you have that installed, Close it all down. Close that down. Now we have everything closed for our PSP and USB. I'm going to move the camera. Okay. So now we're back on the PSP. I've exited USB mode. What you need to do now is turn your PSP off fully. So hold the power off button until your PSP is fully powered off. Hold the right trigger, turn PSP back on. 
Now we have recovery menu. Because we added a new plugin, go down to the plugins option, select, and you see we have CXMB plugin. Mine is already enabled, so click on yours and enable it. Make sure it looks like mine. Once that's done, back, go to exit, and your PSP will restart. Once you have the CXMB, sorry about that. Once you have CXMB 3.3 installed on your custom firmware PSP, you go back into USB mode. Select USB mode. Now we're going to move the camera again, guys. So we're back here, you see open to view folders, the PSP has popped up again. So now we have PSP, open up the PSP folder on the PSP memory stick, open up the theme file, and then you see this is where you add your CTF files. So you just go to wherever you have your CTF files. Mine are, let me just find them, PSP, CTF themes. Here they are. There's the one that I have on my PSP right now. So you just drag that into the theme file. The PSP. Drag it and drop it, copy and paste it. However, you want to get it into the theme file on the PSP. There you go. It's a CTF file. Close everything down again. Once you have all your themes on, or one, whatever you're going to use, then we come back to the PSP guys. Once you have CTF inside your PSP, exit USB mode, go down on your XMB, select the theme settings, you'll now see a bunch of custom themes, or whatever one you added down along the list. Most of them have a pretty good preview of what they look like, some of them don't, but that should do it for you. Hopefully this helps you. Let me know if you have any questions, so comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace out guys. Thanks.